Cutting a curve sounds daunting, but it's just as simple as cutting a straight line. You just need to take a little bit more time. As before, lightly mark or score the cutting line without the water on. Once the cutting line is marked, then turn the water supply on. First, make the tension relief cuts at each end of the slab, just the same as the straight cutting. 50 to 75 millimeters long, and most importantly, ensure that the blade goes right through the slab. Slowly pass the blade along the cut line, keeping the revs low. You will have to do more passes when cutting a curve to avoid putting stress on the blade. You will see that the blade is doing all the work here. It's gradually getting deeper into the slab and I'm putting no pressure on the saw. As this is a long curve, I can use the petrol saw. For smaller, tighter curves, use the small angle grinder with a porcelain blade. Some installers will overlay the patio, which is basically making it slightly larger than it needs to be. And then, as soon as you can walk on the paving, the whole curve is marked out and is cut in one go. This is a great way to cut the curve as it gives a lovely smooth, professional finish all the way along the length of the patio. Once the cut is done, turn off the saw and the water. A perfectly cut curve on a porcelain slab. For more installation hints and tips, visit the website pavestone.co.uk.